hello everyone in my earlier video you know how asymmetric keys could be used for data encryption and decryption if you want to send the data to the owner of the private key you simply take its public key and read the data using the using the public using this public key and only the owner using the private key may decrypt it asymmetric keys could be also used for signing the, the data but in this case the data flow is opposite the data sent from the owner of the key pair with the private and public key to anyone else to achieve this you want to want a receiver of this data to be 100 percent sure that this data was received from the owner it means that no one else could send the same data with the same encrypted hash to this party so this process is a two step process actually the owner of the private key takes the data and create a hash of this data and here we could use any hash function that we used or discussed before each hash will be unique and it will be a fixed length the hash is often encrypted using private key the recap that private key is only available for the owner nobody else knows the scheme and after that the and the encrypted hash along with the data is sent to the another party and this another party must be sure that data was sent from the owner and that's why it verifies the data following way it takes the same data using the same hash function it create the hash and the creator hash that was sent by the owner of the private key is decrypted using its public key and after that it compares those two hashes and if the hash match then it is sure that the data was sent from the owner only but you may ask what we achieve by signing the data using the symmetric keys there are couple of positive effects so the first in this case we ensure that data was not changed during the transfer and second if those hashes missed we could be sure that data was sent was sent exactly by the owner and this part brought us is called a data signature so in all the sense the data using the private key actually it gets in fact simply has created based on the data and after that anyone else would verify its signature and verification of the signature is done using the public key that's how we can tell that the there we are the owner of this data and nobody else will create the same hash as we done so that's how symmetric keys can be used for signing the data and this process is very important because that what exactly happens when the server sends client as a certificate each certificate contains a signature and of the owner of the certificate and the signature is verified exactly in same main manner here so this is asymmetric key signing yeah thank you we will catch up in next videos